Hi, this is Soft Cell Video Productions and I am your host John. In this video, we're going to show you how to read an electrical blueprint as well as how to read layout markings on the house under construction. I'm not going to use the symbols that you will find in books or on technical pages, but real-time symbols that are used in the field and on blueprint pages that are usually marked E1 denoting the electrical page. Let's start with the outlet symbol, a circle with two lines through it. Pretty basic. There are lots of different devices that are associated with this symbol. The most common is a basic duplex outlet. Now, there are variations to this symbol and all have different meanings, but they're just not used. Instead, these common abbreviations or words are used. WP or weatherproof. That denotes a weatherproof cover goes on that outlet. GFI, that's a GFI protected outlet and is usually found in a bathroom or a kitchen or outside outlet. Dead, that's a dedicated outlet which has its own breaker. Reefer, that goes to the refrigerator. It's a dedicated outlet and again it has its own breaker. Mic, that's a microwave outlet. It's dedicated and has its own breaker. Half, that denotes a half hot or a switched outlet. Range, that's a 240 outlet and usually requires a two gang box. Dryer, again, that's a 240 outlet and usually requires a two gang box. Photo cell, that's pretty basic. It's a photo cell and it controls outside lighting. All of these devices or outlets will start with the basic outlet symbol and be followed with the tags I just reviewed with you. Let's add three more symbols to that list. The phone, which is a triangle. Cable TV, which is a long T that hooks into a V. And thermostat, which is just a circled T. Let's move on to wall switches. Switch boxes come in gangs. The number of gangs is the number of switches in the box and also denotes the size of the box. Now on the print you will see markings like this, switch switch fan light, which is a switch for a fan in the bathroom and a switch for the light. Switch switch CF, that's two switches for a ceiling fan, one going to the fan, one going to the light. Switch three, that's a three-way switch which has a clone switch somewhere nearby like at the end of a hallway or on the other end of a room. Switch four, that's a switch that goes in between two three-way switches and there can be as many as you like between the three-way switches. Switch half. That's a switch that switches a half-hot outlet. Switch dish disposal. That is a half-hot switch that powers a dishwasher disposal circuit and also has the potential of 240 volts. Switch 240. That could indicate many things, but it means it's a two-pole switch. It is for perhaps a wall heater, heat lamps, or some other device that requires 240 volts. The real importance in these markings is that they tell you what kind of wire to use as well as where it is going. When the outlet markings are combined with the switch markings, you can figure out even the most complicated layouts. In the basic E1 diagram, I show you what a bathroom layout looks like. Notice the fan and light marking. And I show you what a bedroom layout looks like. You see the ceiling fan and you see the half hot. If this makes sense to you, you can read any layout. To finish up, Let's go over some floor markings. Floor markings are used to show what's going on directly over your head. There are only a few basic markings and variations of these will be sub-labeled just like the outlets and switches. The most basic is the light box which is a circle with a cross through it followed by a recessed can which is a circle with a square around it. We then have a smoke detector which is a SD with a circle around it followed by a ceiling fan which is kind of a cheesy looking fan and then we have an exhaust fan which is a square with an F in it. We have now covered just about every symbol you will ever see on a print or in a house. So now you know what a real print looks like and the real markings that are used. I hope you learned something new from this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.